it's about love. Too much. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm telling you, it's like. It's like a mukbang on each other's faces. Ah! <laughs> he said, "Oh my God, this turns up brightness." It goes, "What? I can't hear." <laughs> So today's vlog is gonna be another unfriendly friendly a not so friendly except super friendly because we're gonna watch two people do it Type of vlog. I'm kind of excited. I'm Wait, kind of nervous. I think they're doing it I mean the thumbnail of this Netflix original show movie. I don't even know what it is I honestly have no idea what even the premise of this movie is we're doing another reaction video because we are fucking Cody Ko We are not fucking Cody Ko <laughs> Essentially reacting to this video because you guys have been requesting ever since we did the OnlyFans video and the 365 days You guys said oh well like that was so last week on TikTok. We've all moved on to the next big thing bigger better Moister um, it's called love and I mean it sounds romantic. Are you sure about that? The movie name is love Yeah, but the way that this is going viral in on TikTok is very different from the way 365 days was going viral Oh, so, so you know this movie? Well, I've heard of it because everyone says, hey, listen, this is a new trend. You film yourself reacting to the first opening scene of this movie, and mm -hmm. everybody's faces are just... <laughs> and then I'm just like, okay, well, I can't imagine it Wait, being so you that haven't shocking. Seen? No, I don't even know what it's about. I haven't seen the first scene. I literally know as much as you know. The movie name, it love. doesn't get more lame and more basic than love. Than love? The, the thing, thing that, that we share together? together? Than love? The premise of our relationship? Nothing's more lame than that. <laughs> he said... Also, I have a thing of grapes, which felt appropriate, so if it gets real hot and steamy, since you know we're like teenagers that are home alone all over again, I'm gonna have it feed them to me. You hold it, I'll just take <laughs> some grapes off. Netflix calls it steamy and intimate and some other word that I don't know how to pronounce. Honestly, I wanna say celibate. Cerebral. 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 It means of the cerebrum of the brain. What? So it's like a very deep movie, very intellectually high. I maybe intellectually deep. Or you think it'll just be deep? <laughs> <laughs> if you are a cerebral person, no one would ever call you a drama queen. <laughs> Out. It says you make decisions using your intelligence and oh. cold hard facts instead of your emotions. So I'm cerebral. Sounds like not my type of movie. I wanted to see people get emotional and do it. I don't know. Okay, we're just gonna jump right in. There's no intro for this vlog. Sorry. It says sex, nudity, language, and smoking. Mm. Yum. Delish. Nice. All right. Well, I guess I'm just gonna. <gasps> In 14 minutes. Who's gonna? Two hours and 14 two minutes. Okay, so it says a man is in an unsatisfying man. I don't know, dude. You look pretty satisfied right now in this little. I paused it and he looks very satisfied. If I can say so myself. In an unsatisfying marriage, recalls the details of an intense past relationship with an ex girlfriend when he gets word that she may be missing. Honey, I think like this is not okay. Missing true crime. Honey, I think this is not okay. Oh my god! They're doing some weird stuff. I feel so uncomfortable! Well, okay. Oh! oh my god! They're genuinely doing it! Oh my god! See, you say the last other movie, mm -hmm. what is it, 365? Mm -hmm. That wasn't real? This is as, as real as it gets. They said it's not real. I'm just kidding, it's real. This was at their request. So, play it. So what movie is this about? It's about love. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Shall we skip? Oh <laughs> no, I feel like we have to watch it. It's just How so did nobody forces you to watch this? Like nobody put a gun to your head to have you watch this. Really? Because I feel like I'm shy. <laughs> I 
wonder if this is his unsatisfying marriage or if this is his remembrance of his ex-girlfriend where things are passionate. Because for let me, me this me doesn't look that passionate. Alright, let me see if he's passionate. Well, he seems pretty passionate. <laughs> Oh, that was a dream. Oh, that was the passionate ex-girlfriend. Is that what it is? Yeah, and this is his unsatisfying marriage. Are they different women? Yeah, honey. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> to the face, he's like, wait, I gotta see her and then I'll let you know. <laughs> I mean, they were just like the center of the shot though, so. You wanna rewind? <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. I'm gonna take a quick minute break because that was just... I feel like this is so much more intense than any other movie that I've ever seen in my entire life I mean this is this is not even in the same Atmosphere in the same world as Fifty Shades of Grey. This is like not even 365 days or days or whatever you'd like to call it This is just straight up. I mean the entire opening scene was just this and this and this we're just gonna watch the rest of the movie. I might skip through some of it, but essentially, from what I can tell, the plot exists of literally what they just said in the caption of Netflix. He is reminiscing about his ex-passionate girlfriend. He gets a call from his Electra's mom, who's saying that she hasn't been seen for months. So I think he just takes a walk down memory lane, and this is just gonna get wild. Okay, so we just got another flashback, and I think some gonna go down because right now it's like tinted in this red hue like e-boy tiktok red lights type of hue oh my oh my gosh <clears throat> okay so he has a wife and a son oh my god So what's the difference between this or porn? This has a plot! This has a love story, okay? It's no longer a pizza delivery guy that just opens it and is like Did you ask for a meat lover's extra large? And then you're just like, oh my gosh, my husband's not home and oops, I have no cash! How will I ever pay for my pizza? Ever heard of PayPal, bits? Yeah, no. This is like more of like a plot. Wow, but like these paused moments, if I could only show them to you guys on YouTube, <laughs> just chef's kisses, okay. <laughs> she said, what happened? And he said it broke. <laughs> and he, yeah, she gonna get pregnant, it seems. Oh my God, they even show. The broken <laughs> then. <laughs> they broke it. <laughs> wow, it's very broken. He said, it's very broken. <laughs> Oh my god, those. They're just making out. I know. <laughs> Literally the entire so far. We have seen so many eggplants. So many everything. Honestly, whatever you could possibly see, we've seen it. But the moment that these two people make out, he's like, oh my god, those. It was like, if you, you guys know, are it watching. was like this type of make out. Oh wow. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. you're right. They're making uh, yeah, out is yeah. a little too much. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm telling you, it's like it's like a mukbang on each other's faces. <laughs> oh my, my god. Gatos. Is that three people? Yeah. I don't know what it is, but something about seeing this on Netflix makes me feel shocked. I don't want to make it seem like I'm just like this goody two shoes and I've never seen people do it before. I've never done it before. Like that's not the case. But the fact that it's just on Netflix, I think is kind of shocking. I think it's kind of shocking that we're filming this. Oh yeah. Okay, so now there's three people. That's the wife and the ex-girlfriend and him. And I don't know if this is a fantasy. Because I'm just going to be honest, the plot's like barely there. So I've been skipping through it because I cannot l watch any more shots of him just staring at his green walls inside of his house and just like slowly talking in a monotone voice. That is my nightmare. <laughs> so I have just skipped to the good parts. How old are you? 17. Cancelled! You're Holy fucking cancelled. She's not actually 17. Are you sure? Yes. How'd you know? Are you sure? Yes, it's a movie. <laughs> are you sure? <laughs> Do you want to double check? It's a movie. Okay. <laughs> She's 26 years old. <laughs> oh my god, man. It's like they're fighting for some treats or something. <laughs> All right, we get it. <laughs> He's like, oh my god, we get it. Okay, we get it. <laughs> You're 
red. <laughs> so embarrassed. <laughs> it's not normal to film myself watching this. So. <laughs> If you know what it means, he's grocery shopping and he's he really got a lot of snacks. Oh my god, more oh snacks. He's god. going in between snacks. He had he bought two snacks from the grocery store and he's eaten both snacks. He's going back to snack one, number one. Maybe snack number one was kind of good. I don't know. The snacks are just being snacks together. And he's like, watch out, me too. I don't even know what they're doing at this point. <laughs> Do you know what they're doing? We're like, they're really just, um... <clears throat> you gotta see it to believe it. Yeah. We're only 38 minutes in. Oh my, my god, oh those. my, oh, oh my, my, oh my. Oh my god, oh my I'm so god. sorry, honey. There's more, this is such a long scene. And this is truly so unrealistic. You're telling me not once did they ever get their hair tangled, not once did everyone, anyone ever lay on a girl's hair and she said, ah, hold on, wait a second, like, not once. It's just this smooth and cinematic. I don't know, I don't believe it. So Think this whole it. movie is just like he's living a miserable life now mm -hmm. and he's thinking about how fun he was living before. Mm -hmm. Welcome to every marriage, you ain't special, Murphy. <laughs> don't look at me, I told you I didn't know what the movie was about. It's about love. This one's not very romantic at all. Like 365 days, I can kind of see why people are obsessed with like the romantic part of it. Saying like this man loves her so much, you know? But this one, it's um... I'm bored. I think the first couple rounds, it was like shocking. But now... What more can we do? I feel like they've explored everything. I don't understand. I'm getting heated right now. So he literally just cheated on her with some random girl at a party that his girlfriend is also at the party. And heard everything, but now he's offended because she admits to cheating. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is a scene of them in a back seat of a taxi, and they're this close to each other, going, "It's the side profile. It's your fucking fault. It's your fault. How is this my fault? It's your." I realize I look crazy right now, and the taxi driver's just like, "Skirt, skirt, just another day in buddy." <laughs> like what? I've never seen someone just like, you're a piece of shit, you have no talent, you can't sell anything, you can't do anything, you can't get anything together, you're just a piece of bullshit. Do people fight like that? I don't know. Right? What kind of fights have we been having? Have we been doing it wrong? <laughs> don't tell me that's them doing it right after. Oh Whoa! my god! <laughs> Still gotta love that the taxi driver was not like, get out of my car, or even didn't say anything. He was just like, I love Paris. They're making out now. And doing it. And now they're doing it. He said, raise the brightness. <laughs> what? I didn't know what's going on. I can't hear anything. It is a very dark scene. I will. What? Oh my, oh my god. god. That's so close. I will say, like, if this. This is the. This is the camera. <laughs> face to face. Head to head. Head to head. Oh my god! Watch! One hour, 27 minutes oh and four god. seconds! This is insane! This is freaking insane! Murphy, I love you so much. If one day I die, I would love to know that you fall in love again and again. I wish I could be that bitch! But I'm not. <laughs> I'm that bitch that that TikTok is made about. The one that's like when you're at your funeral and there's a girl talking to your boyfriend and you're in the coffin and it's like, bitch, I'm up. The fuck? That's me. I feel like I'd want to haunt you a little bit. <laughs> like just a little bit. Again and again and again. So he's in there just like really doing like one of those things where he's just having the water run and like sitting dramatically in a tub with no shower curtain closed. So I can only imagine the mess that he's making. And this is probably why his wife is not doing him like they used to. And then she opens the door. Are they gonna do it again? So the end of the film is just them hugging Wait, each other. Wait, but is it her? The lighting is very sad and depressing. Just like this one. <laughs> okay, I think I understand the cinematic perspective of this. Do you? I'm 
head, dude. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't think I can do an in-depth analysis of a movie like this. I need to read some Rotten Tomatoes because I can't be the only one that's genuinely so confused by this. Okay, so Rotten Tomatoes, love. It is 39% and 38% on the audience score. 365 days, it was just like a, an innocent kidnapping. <laughs> I'm just kidding, they're both really weird. <laughs> wow, this is really weird. Okay, let's look at user reviews because when you look at film people's reviews, it's just... You don't understand, huh? I don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I hated this movie so much, it motivated me to make an account here just to tell others how crappy this movie was. This is Andrew. Thank you, Andrew, for your <laughs> input. Thank you for making a Rotten Tomato account just to inform the public. <laughs> um, Murphy is a raging asshole. Did someone break your heart, girl? <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of sex, which if that's your thing, go for it. Three stars. This was an okay film. The only thing I want taken out was the parts. I want taken out? Yeah. <laughs> what? I feel like someone should just make a, comp a compilation of just those parts. But you want them taken out? Look That's the, the only part Stephanie saw. <laughs> <laughs> I literally skipped to those parts, boo boo. Oh my gosh, this is a savage review. I don't even know if I can read this. Read it, please. One, not even one star half of a star, which I don't even think you can give it zero stars, so this was probably the minimum starage that she could give on Rotten Tomatoes. Complete waste of time. Murphy is a pretentious, whiny a Electra, an unhinged addict, and Ami, well, she's just clueless. As far as I can tell, the only point of this movie was to just have regular, not stars, have sex on camera. Guess what? The women still are not having orgasms. <sighs> I would just like to turn my hair into a curtain and <laughs> the show is over. Dave says it's an unnecessary film, a waste of his time. He should have gone on Pornhub. <laughs> so, um, um, someone just... I feel like this is that one person that really just genuinely was just going through Netflix looking for a romantic film to watch, mm -hmm. a drama, right? Something that was just... It says love, maybe if it's a coming of age love story, a real marriage of love and how they ex you know, navigate the experiences of being a married couple and keeping their relationship alive, right? Mm -hmm. um, Gail said, um, wait, this is porn, folks. Gail, we knew. <laughs> Gail, we knew. Did you, did you know Gail? Because we knew. <laughs> I don't think like it can get worse than this. That concludes today's video. At this point, you guys can just straight up start requesting adult films. I will <laughs> just <laughs> be going on that website at that point because this was not like a movie review. God. Let me know if anybody else has watched this film. What and, is your um, mom going to think about this? Oh God. Oh no, this is why you make separate Netflix accounts, okay? At least she doesn't click on my Netflix account. And no words. Do you have any words? Yeah, great film. Great film. Make sure to turn up the brightness, he said. <laughs> <laughs> he said, oh my god, those turns up brightness. <laughs> he goes, what? I can't hear. <laughs> I'm like, what? Literally, that's the sound. You're turning up the brightness. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and I'll see you guys <laughs> tomorrow on my family-friendly channel. <laughs>